if you watched our last video, you'd think we couldn't get more adventurous than whitewater rafting in a foreign country. But boy, we took it up a notch in our last day of Costa Rica. Cue the intro. Wait, what? We're jumping off waterfalls? Sliding down waterfalls, going into caves, climbing up waterfalls. Smallest waterfall of the day. Main features here are jumping. An eight foot jump and a 14 foot jump here. Second spot is going to be Uvita. A couple different features here. We're going to take you through a little walk through a greenhouse, show you some plants, some tropical plants, talk to you a little bit about those. Then it's going to be a short little walk through the jungle. Uh, like three minutes, we're going to end up at the river. A little man made walkway that leads us to a platform that we're going to jump off of. I swear, if you get any tricks in your pocket, you throw them here front flips, back flips, head dives, belly flops, whatever you got. naturally occurring water slide with a six foot drop at the end. When I'm talking about a water slide, I'm not talking about like a plastic water slide. It's like a smooth rock that we're gonna be sliding down. If it is not crazy enough for you to slide, there's also a 28, 30 foot jump that we do. Waterfall. Waterfalls like this is a freestanding boulder that 30 years ago fell down the river and got stuck in the middle of the waterfall. You climb up that tree, out onto a log, and jump from the inside of the waterfall through the water to the outside of the waterfall. off the waterfalls we went and had lunch at a small restaurant and just like the day before the restaurant somehow knew it was Jake's birthday and they gave him a cake and sang him a happy birthday again happy birthday It. You're gonna swallow it. 
<laughs> he just swallowed a fish eye. Wait, really? You're not supposed to do that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Playa Mendanas. There are two caves that actually go from the beach through the mountain out into the open ocean. So the waves crash through these mountains. Then we headed back to Tulumar and get ready to change for my birthday dinner. But when I opened the door, I was met with a huge surprise. Brian from Tulumar decorated the room with balloons and gave me a whole birthday cake, along with a birthday present, which was a soccer jersey of a Costa Rican national team. Thanks again, Brian, if you're watching this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jake. Happy birthday to you. After Jake's surprise in the room, he headed down for dinner, and then somehow the restaurant found out it was Jake's birthday, and they gave him another cake. Yummy. Happy birthday, dear Jake. Happy birthday. All in all, guys, we had an amazing trip again at Costa Rica. Trevi and I are so thankful that we were able to bring the kids on a trip like this, especially a trip that meant so much to us. Greatly recommend to Lamar if you guys are ever in the Capos in Costa Rica. Please go and check them out. And thank you so much to Lamar for having us this past week. We truly appreciate it, and we can't wait to come back. Guys, that wraps up our four-day trip to Costa Rica. We thank you so much for following along. And guys, don't forget, what did you like most? Comment down below and also hit the like, subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Remember, life's an adventure. Who are you going on it with?